of Long Beach. Welcome back to LBPostSports.com. It's JJ and Mike. And deep behind the orange curtain, it's Lakewood, modern day CIF Southern Section Division I baseball quarterfinals. Lakewood, the favorite here, but modern day, obviously, the home field advantage. Quite a nice field, by the way, at Dado Stadium. Sophomore, Ty Moore, ready to take the bump. He hasn't gone over five innings since about two months ago. So obviously the modern day Monarch says they take the field right here, hoping that the sophomore can quell the Lakewood bats that didn't have to swing much in that comeback against uh, Riverside Poly, but swinging early as JP Crawford, the freshman shortstop, leads it off with a single, but unable to lay down the bunt two pitches later. Tyler Lee Holt rolls over to the routine 4-6-3 double play. And that was pretty much the story throughout the entire game. Again, in the second inning, Jeff Yamaguchi leads it off and gets on. However, caught stealing. And the, the hits just kept on coming. Yeah, Lakewood just uh, couldn't couldn't hit that well. We're getting hit when they were pitching and couldn't run the bases. It was not much to look well, at. Well, you got to lay down the bunt first right. before you run the bases. And obviously, if you can't do one thing, you can't do the other. In the fifth, for the fourth time in the first five innings, they get the leadoff man on only to be cut down. That's a 6-4-3 double play. Meanwhile, Jeff Yamaguchi on the hill, the player of the year in the Moore League, you know, he was doing his job in this game before the gates kind of, you know, broke open. Getting the breaking ball over for a strike, uh, keeping him off balance he was. However, in the third inning with two outs, uh, that grazes Corey Hahn, so he takes first base. So two on, two outs, next man up, the pitcher, Ty Moore, helping himself. Just spraying that one down the line. He's going to get up, get to second base. Two runs will come in and score. Then here we go. How many times have you seen it? You know, the hitting's not working. A pitcher doesn't feel like he's got anything behind him. And all of a sudden, he's out there on an island and things just start going wrong. Yep, they come back in the fourth. Again, two on with two outs. And again, a two RBI double, this time from Austin Monte as he comes in to second with the ball thrown over to the top and then picking him up where you left him. You're like, you're right. You know what? It was the Monarchs just hitting the ball where they weren't. When the Lancers hit the ball hard, it went right at guys. When the Monarchs hit the ball hard, it was just, it was just that much more the best way. They were hitting into the alleys. Lakewood was knocking out windows and falling into gloves. Not the way you want to get things going in a playoff game, obviously. After they take the 5-0 lead, Lancers again putting the runner on. Again, a harmless ground ball. The only great moment for the Lancers in this game was Jeff Yamaguchi's final at-bat as a Lakewood baseball player. He gone. And he deserves that. I mean, Yamaguchi struggled on the mound. He's going to Long Beach State next year, so he's staying local. But he's had an incredible career with the Lancers. Like we said, more league player of the year this year. Good to see a happy ending for him on some level. After the solo home run, kind of, you know, this is just the way this day's been. Two on. Picked a third. Picked a third. Just yes. another guy. 11 guys on base for the Lancers. Only two come around to score. You're not going to win very many playoff games like that, especially at modern day. The final, 11-2. to two. Lakewood eliminated. Caps off a great season for the Lancers, as, uh, as Coach Spud is telling the team right now. It was a great season, except for today. Sometimes you just have a bad day. Sometimes it happens to be in the quarterfinals. 2010 More League Baseball. A year to remember, no doubt.